welcome to MOC videos it's time to learn in this video lecture we are going to discuss about 2d transformation reflection and sharing we know what is meant by a transformation changing the object's size orientation and shape is defined as a transformation reflection is creating mirror image of an object there are different kinds of reflections are there some of the examples are reflection about x axis reflection about y axis reflection about x y axis reflection about x equal to y axis if an object is located at first quadrant if you are creating reflection about x axis means after reflection the object is located at second quadrant that is if you are using a clockwise rotation and similarly we will identify for each and every reflection we will define a formula for that reflection about x axis so p dash equal to reflection matrix into p the original point matrix x values remain same y value is converted as a negative value so x dash equal to x and y dash equal to minus y then the object will be located at the second quadrant reflection about y axis means the object will be located at the fourth quadrant p dash equal to r e into p x dash equal to minus x and y dash equal to y it remains same reflection about x y axis means the object will be located to the third quadrant so both the values are negative so x dash equal to minus x and y dash equal to minus 1 the reflection about x equal to y axis means the values are interchanged p dash equal to r e into p x dash equal to y and y dash equal to x so we'll discuss an example for that consider a point located at 2 comma 1 perform all type of reflection p is located at 2 comma 1 so this is the location of the point p is located at 2 comma 1 now we will perform reflection about x axis we know the formula for reflection about x axis this is the formula initially the point is located at 2 comma 1 after reflection it is located at 2 comma minus 1 and here you see now the point is translated to the second quadrant and reflection about y axis we are going to change the sign of x value so now the point is located at minus 2 comma 1 and this is the reflection now the point is located at fourth quadrant in reflection about x axis we are going to change both the axis sign values so x dash equal to minus x y dash equal to minus y so the, now the point is minus 2 comma minus 1 it is located at third quadrant x equal to y axis means we are going to interchange the value so x dash equal to y and y dash equal to x now the point is 1 comma 2 and this is a reflection about x equal to x equal to y axis is this line 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 4 comma 4 that's x equal to y line we are going to rotate at that now next transformation is a sharing sharing is we are going to change the shape of the object internal lay layers are sliding over each other after performing shearing it will look like a layers sliding over each other so we will discuss an example for that to perform shearing we need shearing factors shx shearing factor in x axis or shy shearing factor in y axis and we need a formula for this shearing about x axis p dash equal to shx into p if you are performing shearing about x axis means x axis values are changed y axis values remain same so x dash equal to x plus y into shx and y dash equal to y itself and similarly if you are performing shearing about y axis x value remain same y values are changed so x dash equal to x and y dash equal to shy into x plus y we will discuss an example consider a square located at 0 comma 0 0 comma 2 2 comma 0 and 2 comma 2 perform sharing with respect to x axis and perform sharing with respect to y axis both the values are true so this is the square original square sharing about x axis so we know the formula for that p1 dash equal to shx into p1 so this is a formula we are applying that it remains 0 comma 0 we identify p2 by using the same formula the value is 2 comma 0 p3 is 4 comma 2 p4 dash is 6 comma 2 now this is sharing 
after performing sharing with respect to x axis y values are changed x values remain same sorry x values are changed y values remains same and sharing with respect to y axis p1 dash equal to shy into p1 so p1 dash equal to we know the formula for that p2 dash and similarly we are identifying p3 dash and then p4 dash and here you see if you are performing sharing with respect to y axis y axis values are changed x axis value remains same for every point that's the advantage of using a share thanks for watching keep on visiting my channel thank you